Hey guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. Now as you can see on the screen right now guys, I am bringing you a review of the very highly requested 93 rated Team of the Season, Arjen Robben. Now this guy has been requested by so many of you. Quite a few of you have actually asked me to review the second international man of the match, Robin, mainly due to, I'm guessing, his position change to a striker. Don't worry guys, I have got him on my list. I will do a, a review on him eventually, but I wanted to try out this blue team of the season, Robin, because guys, he looks to be one of the best right, wing, right wingers in the game. And his stats look absolutely phenomenal. Now, going through his in-game stats, check this out, guys. 10 of them are 99. And that is awesome when you keep in mind that the team of the year, Ronaldo, who is like 5 or 6 ratings higher, has 11 99 in-game stats. So, Robin being that much lower rating, yet he has nearly the same amount of 99 stats. Those of which being curve, dribbling, free kicks, long shots, shot power, volleys, agility, balance, reactions and stamina so his in-game stats are phenomenal his card face stats are phenomenal as well i mean he's 93 rated he looks to be one of the best right wingers in the game so you can only expect the best when it comes to stats now let me go through his positives and negatives as i always do his negatives i'll go through first because there are a hell of a lot less than there are positives his first being the obvious one his weak foot i mean robin has always had i do believe two star weak foot in ultimate team so you can only expect him to be uh, a one -foot footed player guys you get him in the position to use his right foot you're gonna have to do your utmost best and try and uh, do do whatever you can basically to get him onto his left foot because he will 100% guaranteed fail when it comes to using his right foot or at least he always failed for me when it came to using his weak foot his strength really isn't the best I mean he's not the tallest of players and his strength and aggression stats aren't the best so you can only expect him to get to get muscled off the ball fairly easily and that he does in game and it really really does let you down or at least it lets me down when a player gets muscled off so easily especially if you've bought the player for millions and millions of coins it just it really does make the player slightly annoying to to use but then again if you're using someone who costs millions of coins and they're not the strongest then it's something that you should be expecting now when it comes to aerial ability with the team of the season robin it's not the best i mean i think his head in stats somewhere in the 60s um and you, really guys you're not really going to be using robin for heading let's be honest guys you're going to be using for either uh doing skill runs taking long shots running through teams things like that you're not going to be using him to you know get on the end of crosses and whatnot you're going to be using him to take the crosses and whatnot like i said also take the long shots and do some skill runs and using his epic pace to just blitz past defenses and run through teams basically and moving on to his positives that's the first one i got guys his pace is absolutely insane 95 pace on the card i gotta say he feels like it he just runs past teams with ease you give this boy a tiny bit of space and he is gone guys there is absolutely no defender in the game that can catch up with him i come up against a lot of uh, people that use you know the overpowered overused center backs Killini, Ogbonna, David Louis, Company, and all that. And not one center back that I came up against could catch him. There were a few center backs, guys, I will admit, that came close on occasion. But as soon as Robin just got that extra second in front of them, he was gone and there was no catching up to him. So I've got to agree with the 95 pace stat. And if you are considering, you know, thinking that he you're not gonna buy him because he's not gonna feel like what his pace stat suggests, I gotta say, think otherwise wise guys because his pace is absolutely insane another aspect of this card that is absolutely insane guys is his left foot 96 shot on the card you will see in this video a hell of a long shot that i scored with this guy across the face of the goalkeeper the ball just dipped into the top right hand corner the keeper had no chance it was a sexy goal <laughs> guys it was one of the best long shots i've ever scored in this game his left foot is definitely one of the best left foots in ultimate team his dribbling and ball control is insane 97 dribbling on the card he feels just as good as Messi, and their dribbling is ex 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 
not exactly the same but it's extremely similar that's what i tried to get out then guys my bad his passing is pretty decent 90 passing on the card i've got to agree with that his crossing is really really good um and just short passing is awesome it's not exactly rocket science guys to pass to a player that's right in front of you he's got the four star skills so skillers will enjoy using him that much more um and he, it obviously his work rate if you decide to use him as a right winger or a right forward he's always going to be in the position that you need him to be in and he's always going to make the runs that you need him to to make so that's all of his strengths and his weaknesses that i have gone through guys that i found with the team of the season robin i've given him a final score of 9.7 out of 10 but as you saw a few seconds ago do i think he is worth it i've got to say no now when i bought him i bought him for four million one hundred and fifty thousand coins which in itself is a shit ton of coins to be spending on a single player think of what you could buy with those coins it is unbelievable and the choices are endless you could buy legends you could buy loads of informs the, the the choices are endless don't get me wrong this robin team of the season card is absolutely insane and it is definitely one of the best cards that i have used in ultimate team but when it comes to comparing him to his non-inform there's a difference but there's not four million coins worth of difference that's the point i'm trying to get across i just don't think he's worth the extra four million coins over his non-informed guys and to answer the question that some of you guys are probably going to want me to answer is he the best right winger in the game i've got to say no the best for me is the team of the season bale the second best is the team of the season hulk and team of the season robin takes up the number three spot guys for me personally and that's going to wrap up this team of the season robin review guys i really do hope you enjoyed as always if it did help you decide whether or not to buy him then a like is always greatly appreciated it really does help me out um, and also subscribe for more player reviews to come in the future guys and as always from me please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys